live at five. It's offer review, and I'm just hyped today because of one reason only: is Zemo dancing is like my favorite thing ever. Oh, where is he? You got to see it. Here you go. Here you go. Look at Zemo dancing right there. I love it. It's the best. He's the best. He almost is. You know, some people say that he dances better than I do, and I think they're wrong. I'm a better dancer than Zemo, without a doubt. Uh, there will be a Versace flute remix. I, 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 I can sense it coming with the dancing Zemo. I, I see it coming. I think it's going to happen. Anyways, remove minions from elite red star orbs. Yeah. Dude, if they're going to put like this fake anchor pricing on elites fours at 20 bucks and elite fives at $35 and $75 for a six, then they need to do this. I mean, nobody wants a Ravager Stitcher or any minion, right? Uh, this thing, just from an elite, you know, make them elite, actually. I think this is an excellent suggestion uh, coming in from Reddit Wrestling. And then also, don't use multiple men with Phoenix. So I, I did test this, and it is pretty hard to have this happen. I think what ha has to happen for this to be a problem where uh, where multiple men, you know, clog to the board. And, you know, the, the thing is, is that when there's 10 people on the board at once, then you can't get any more. And so what I imagine what happened is that whatever killed Phoenix also targeted the OG multiple men. And so that they both triggered a, a, a summon spawn event and that multiple men have, uh, triggered before the Phoenix one. And so Dark Phoenix didn't summon. Seems like it's pretty challenging to make this happen, but it is a possibility. I, I did test it and it, I couldn't get it to work. Uh, but basically, Phoenix would have to die from like innate, like splash damage where it hit just those two and then they spawn. Oh my god, that sounds like horrible if that happened in Alliance War. Oh, I got my Whale Harder t shirt on. It looks like yellow keys out sometime. Let's go to offer review. Also, my um free to play account, which we're going to review, also has some. ISO offers. Oh, it just looks sparkly. I guess that's fine. Uh, some ISO offers that are going to be unique to that account because I just unlocked ISO 8 and Alliance War. Anyways, seeing double offer. So, nine seeing double offers. I value these orbs at $3 a piece. So, this is $27 value. Here's the problem with this is that uh, even I'm, I'm not really sold on this guy. I really am not. I, 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 get, I think he's good, but I don't know how good. And I kind of wish somebody would show me how amazing he is or something. I just, I think he's good. I think he's okay. I don't think he's, a, I don't think he's the best. Anyways, so, uh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Illuminar. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh my God. Um, anyways, uh, thank you. <laughs> anyways, uh, Versace at my wrist. Uh, and some offers. Yes, we're not gonna. I don't know if we're gonna be buying any offers today, but, but maybe. Thank you, Luminar. I will. I have to thank you after record the video. But my goodness. Um, tomorrow campaign event starts. The campaign event starts tomorrow, and so wow, I'm, I'm still I'm, I'm thrown off by that. <laughs> I really am. Wow. Uh, the 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 event starts tomorrow. Put some LSs in the chat. My God. Um, put the event starts tomorrow, so I don't see the point of this. I'm just gonna do his campaign event. It seems like the offers didn't really make sense and the, and the timing, and it didn't seem like any of it made sense to me the way that they released uh, uh, um, multiple men or mum. Anyways, I'm not gonna buy this. Anyways, there's an elite four star orb. Yeah, why don't why don't you remove the minions and then we can talk? Come on, man. Come on, add some value to our red stars, man. Get rid of the, the elites out of this. Anyways, that's a, a crack and snack. I'm not going to buy it, but I get it. Oof. All right, healing host offers. So um, uh, I, I do believe the core of the symbiote team is symbiote Spider-Man and friends, right? So you, if you don't have symbiote Spider-Man, I don't see the point in buying this. But uh, definitely, I think that symbiote Spider-Man and Van are the, the best two of the symbiotes. You know, you if there was like a, a tier list, imaginary tier list of, the, you know, I think we got symbiote Spider-Man. Uh, no, we got... Symbiote Spider-Man, Anti-Venom, Carnage, maybe then Venom and Scream somewhere down there. I mean, it, 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 it's whatever order you want to do, but definitely Anti-Venom is up at the top. Uh, I have him at six stars, and I'm quite content with him at six stars. I was able to complete Dark Dimension 2 twice with him at six stars. No worries. I kind of like getting characters to six stars and then just backing off of them and then letting them do their own thing and get to seven naturally. Make him farmable, Scopelnex. Also, Symbiote Spider-Man, where are you? All right. 
hit golden bundle. This is not a great offer. At best, we value these at $2 a piece. So that's a total of $14. And then we've got maybe five bucks worth of other stuff. So that's a total of 19 bucks. Let's move on. Premium ISO 8 offers. Uh, I'm not in the market myself personally for the ISO 8s. I am in the market for ions. So I'm not gonna be buying this. Ions, I would buy this if it, somehow these fell into this idea of like $3 per orb. So I basically valued the two orbs right there at six bucks. So maybe that's another two bucks, that may be $8, but it's just not quite there before I start pulling the trigger on this stuff, but I need ions. I have bought this in the past for sure. Exclusive training offer, nothing special about this. At best, I value training orbs at $8 a piece plus another three bucks. So it's a total of $11, not worth 20 bucks if you ask me. Premium orb pack, I value these orbs all at a bucket a piece, but we've got is premium orbs at a buck a piece. And then I also value kingpin orbs at about a buck a piece. So um, that's a $5 value, not worth 10 bucks. Let's move on. Uh, Legacy one, I value these orbs at 25 cents a piece. So that's $1.25. Newer players that need the legacy characters, which are the characters that are probably about, they were at, most of these characters are available at launch. I wanna say that there's also like Thor and Night Nurse in these, these orbs, which is quite good in my opinion. Especially Night Nurse now that she's been reworked, seems pretty solid. Uh, anyways, uh, this might have a higher value if you need the, the legacy characters, which are the year one characters. Uh, a lot of good stuff in there overall, but most veteran players are not gonna need those orbs or those characters rather. Double drops is happening right now for something. Two times zero is zero. I heard they're doubling the, the QA department in the same method. Exact same method is double drops is what I heard. Uh, the only reason I would do this if you're pushing for level 80 and or trying to take advantage of double drops, but otherwise this is a very normal offer. I'm not gonna buy it. This happens twice a week sometimes. Anyways, let's move on. Gold orb bundle. At best, gold orbs, two bucks a piece. This is a, uh, what is it? Um, a, a blitz orb, right? That's worth like 10 cents. Boy, I opened up a bunch of those yesterday and I got, I think I ordered 40 or 50 of them and I got like 10 She-Hulks out of them. Pfft. I guess I was only supposed to mathematically get like 15 or something, but anyways, it didn't get a lot. Anyways, uh, so this is not even close to worth five bucks. This is maybe two and a half bucks. Let's move on. Uh, orb draft, so we've got the watermelon orb of death right here. We avoid that guy. Premium orb a buck, gold orb two bucks, billy orb, I only value those at 10 cents. 14 basic orbs is basically worth 90 cents. So I'm not gonna buy this because I do not want to pull the ability orb right there. Pack of shame, get out of my face. Pretty much almost always everything under the pack of shame is not good all the way down to the bottom is all say it together with me one two three trash yeah it's trash let's move over to my free to play account now there's some interesting offers in here that are unique to this account right now which i reviewed yesterday because i just went over to level 55 so if you want to get my analysis uh on these offers check out my video from yesterday Basically, what I was saying is that I, I, you know, I value these, but not so much this other stuff. So, you know, anyways, this is just a one-time thing when you go past level 55 and not, did not find value in any of these offers right there. Uh, this one right here, I do have uh, find value. Again, this is unique to this account because it just went to level 55. But uh, yeah, this is something that I would pick up on my main account. 2,100 energy for $10 is uh, right in the right price for me. If I can, whenever I can buy this, uh, you know, I value this right here at about ten and a half dollars. Anyways, let's move on. Uh, ISO 8 starter pack. We talked about this. So let's talk about this one. Quake. At best, we value Quake at, well, this right here at a buck. So we're paying nine dollars for 100 Quake shards. Quake is uh, a benched character, maybe, but she is required to unlock Ebony Ma, or rather, uh, Black Bolt with four Inhumans is. But uh, yeah, she is on the bench for sure. Not great. I do not use her anywhere at this time. Let's keep going past. Oof. Symbiote Spider-Man. Yeah, if you do not have Symbiote Spider-Man and uh, you're wanting to get your symbiotes up and running and you have the other symbiotes, uh, this might be worth the consideration. However, comma, always 50 character sh shards for 30 bucks is always expensive in my opinion, but if this allows you to unlock Symbiote Spider-Man and get your complete use out of the rest of the team, because really the team does not function too well, in my opinion, without Symbiote Spider-Man. So uh, he's great, man. This guy uh, can carry you all the way. He's used in, in in Doom Raids. He's used in Dark Dimension 4, pretty much required in Dark Dimension 4. Uh, I do think that Astonishing X-Men are easier to upgrade for U7.5. Uh, you know, the you can, you know, probably 
you know, when you start getting into like 350k range on Astonishing X-Men, they, they become effective in, at some capacity in U7.5. And I believe uh, the number for symbiotes to be effective is a number probably 150 or 200,000 higher. I mean, I'm just ballparking those things. But I remember running over U7.05 with uh, Astonishing X-Men at about 400k. And it took me about 550, 600 on Symbios before they could run over U7.5. It's just, it's a more effective team in U7.5. But in Doom Raids, you still got to use Symbios. Anyways, let's move on. Ooh, Ven Venmon, Venom. He's relatively easy to get. He's also not as vital, in my opinion, as uh, Symbios Spider-Man or Anna Venom. But, but uh, nevertheless, a great character. I did use him in DD4. I actually prefer Venom over Carnage in DD4. Just because of the defense up and Venom has a quite uh, interesting kit because uh, DD4 is, is less brute force than that DD3 is it actually requires a little bit of strategy. I, I just think DD3 is, is trash still and DD4 is well designed compared to DD3 and Venom offers a lot of strategy where Carnage passive is mostly the value in Carnage and uh, characters dropping into the red doesn't happen as much in DD4 and DD3 as the, the effectiveness of Venom's uh, defense up. Defense up is just vital because they get destroyed without the defense up. Specifically, Scream gets destroyed. Anyways, all right, we're gonna skip over all the duplicate offers. Not a fan of this. Uh, congratulations to everybody that unlocked Doc Ock this week. Uh, I use him a lot, he's great. Um, my, my feeling is that you can take your Doc Ock as high as you want and upgrading him probably will be, he's an excellent choice for DD4. You can take him all the way to 15. I would, I would, I backed off on upgrading the rest of the Sinister Six. I don't see the value in the rest of the team as much as just Doc Ock as a standalone character. He's the best. Not too excited about uh, Electro. Let's move on. Oh, Mercenary Team Bundle. Ooh, look at this. 20 bucks for 500 character shards. Okay. So what this will do for you is this will help you get uh, Mercenaries on Defense and Alliance War up and running with these two characters right here. Merc Riot Guard, Merc Lieutenant other three for me are kind of filler in my opinion they're kind of filler however mercenaries has a monthly event a payday event so this will help you along in the payday event and they're in getting gold so if, if if this allows you to move forward in the payday event and get if that happens monthly uh then it's worth the 20 bucks and you i, I use these two guys quite a bit i think they're great other three, they're all right. I mean, they have, I mean, you could make a case for the other ones, but I'm just more of a fan of Merc Riot Guard and Merc Lieutenant. Let's move on. All right, let's see if we have any other things to talk about here in the store. Also, we've had some pretty uh, big bugs in the last uh, day. Their RTA wasn't working correctly for a little bit, and also looks like there was a problem with Alliance War not starting, and then some of the Alliance milestones not being able to be redeemed. A bunch of stuff today. Scopal next, fix your game. I hope it gets working. Uh, I'll keep you posted on the outcome of that. All right, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section. And as always, thanks for watching and keep on gaming. Thank you, Luminara.